Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with Tim McTagg from Under Oath. Now, for someone who's never heard Under Oath, can you describe the sound? I think our music just sounds, uh, probably to a lot of people, if you never heard us and you're not really into our, uh, our style of music, we probably sound a lot similar to a lot of other bands. Um, I think the more time you spend with our music and the more time you spend with a lot of other bands' music in our scene, you'll kind of pick up on varying degrees of difference. We each kind of approach songs a little bit differently, I think. We write songs not really structured, but more uh, feeling based, so I don't really know how to explain it, but there's a lot of depth and layers, and not to say that we're the only band that creates any songs with depth or anything like that, um, but I think that that's one of our strong points, is we have six dudes, and we have uh, six different influences, we have six different instruments going at all times, so we can kind of create a lot, a lot, a lot more moods rather than like a guitar, bass, drums, and singer, you know? So we get really excited about doing different things like that. Do you feel that Under Oath style is a natural fit to kind of spread the Christian idea that you guys also have? Um, yeah, I think like our music as a whole has a Christian undertone, but we don't infuse our music with Christianity and we don't um, infuse Christianity with our music. I think we just live our lives and the way that we do and the things that we experience and the way we live and the people we meet just kind of translate into our music naturally. It's evident that we're a Christian band, and we make that evident. We're, it's evident that we're Christians, but we're not like, we don't look at a song and say, well, where's the Christianity in this? I don't really see it, so this song can't be on a record or anything. It's just kind of, we write music, and more times than not, a song or two on the record will be obviously blatant about what we believe in, and the others will be more just about life and other issues that people go through. And is that why you think that your music kind of crosses the boundaries and reaches out to fans who are secular as well? Yeah, I mean, I I think our music is very bipartisan. I don't think that we have pigeonholed either way. I think if you're not a Christian, you can get just as much out of it as if you are. I want people to more take away like inspiration from it rather than like a forced point towards like a specific religion. Hopefully in that respect, people will see something they like in what we do, musically or lyrically or live or both or all three and then kind of research what we do and how we do it and maybe somehow get turned on to that to, in a certain degree. Do you ever find it strange that whenever you're interviewed somebody mentions the fact that you guys are a Christian man? No. I mean, I think we didn't want people to talk about it, we just stopped saying we were. We get the same questions a lot, like how do, you, how do you balance your faith tour and how are you a Christian band, but where, what role does Christianity play? I think like that's as easy as like looking it up on our website or any other interview I've ever done, because I feel like we get the same questions a lot, but like, all in all, I mean, that's what we do, you know? Like, that's why we're here, like, I'd rather talk about that and music rather than like, partying and girls or whatever else people talk about. <laughs>